subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to get notified for the latest tech videos hey what's up youtube this is wasi here and in this video i am going to show you how you can create your azure devops account and how you can create your first organization within that account and how you can have a project within that organization so let's begin the video first of all you are going to open this website i will put the website link in the video description here we have azure devops which is basically a product of microsoft so this is a cloud platform where project teams can plan develop deploy and test their application so this is a set of different things where you have ci cd pipelines you have your azure boards test plans artifacts repos and all these different things so you can read complete details from this page secondly you should know what is the pricing of azure devops so i will also put this website link in the video description you can check for azure devops services or the azure devops server you can also select your currency and then we have these services regarding individual services or user licenses if you have a small team of five or less than five developers then you should go with the basic plan which is free and after that for each user you have to pay six dollar per month for that user in the basic plan you have azure pipeline so after that you have azure boards azure repos and azure artifact with these limitations for an organization so if you're just starting out and these things fulfill your need you should go with the basic plan which is free however if in the future you want to expand if you want to add more users you can add it for six dollars per month if you want to have more azure parallel pipelines then you can add them as well according to the price you can increase the artifact size and so on so these will vary depending on these pricing since we are just starting out we are going to go with the basic plan so i'm going to click on start free now it will ask you to sign in to your microsoft account if you don't have one you can create one but if you already have a outlook or a microsoft account you can just simply enter that email address enter my password and click on sign in here it's showing get started with azure devops so if you want to receive tips and other things you can accept this but i'm going to uncheck this button and click on continue here you need to give your organization name so you have one organization and within that you can have one or multiple projects so i'm going to give my organization name right here and then you can select that where you will host your project so select the location that is nearest to you then you're going to give or write the capture that you see right here which in my case is this click on continue and now it's going to take to your devops organization where you can create one or multiple projects if it asks you to add your address or payment information you can skip it for now as we are just going to use the basic plan now since we have an organization we can create a project so you can give your project any name like in my case i'm going to name the project talent pick ai you can set it visibility to be private or public depending on your need and after that click on create project so here you have your project created within the organization which in my case is Wasis AI Labs. I have the project Talent Pick AI. Here you have the summary, you have your boards, repos, pipelines, test plans and artifacts. If you want to add members to this team just click on this invite button and if I go to the test plan it will not work actually because you can see currently we are on the basic plan so this tab will not work for us and you can just simply click on the top left where you have azure devops and if you want to create another project you can just click on this new project so yeah guys in this way you can create your azure devops account and within that an organization and a project if you guys like this video like share subscribe if you have any other questions write them in the comment section below and as always stay safe